Hello, I'm Dave Gardner with Keller Williams Realty, and I'm here today to interview Mayor Marvin Cardenas of the town of Larkspur for the Park Bench website of LarkspurColorado.com. Hey Marvin, how are you doing? Really good, Dave. Good to see you. You bet. So, heck, the town of Larkspur is fairly small in the scheme of things compared to the Larkspur Mailing District. The town's only about three square miles, where the Mailing District's about 180 square miles. Tell me a little bit about the town. Well, the town is a, a, a home rule municipality in Douglas County. We have approximately 200 residents. We're essentially located between Colorado Springs and Denver, right off I-25. We have four wonderful restaurants in town. We have the Larkspur Pizzeria. We have the uh, Spur of the Moment Bar and Grill. We have Charito's Mexican Restaurant. We have the Deli at the Corner Market. We've got uh, the Hops and Vines Liquor Store. We have the uh, Larkspur Pet Hospital. We have the Denver Pineland Dental uh, Dentist Office, and that's just to name a few. We have other numerous businesses located here in town. And of course, you have the um, Renaissance Festival that happens seven to 10 weekends during the summer. That is, that uh, starts in the uh, beginning of June and runs till the first weekend in August. Well, that's fantastic. Now you've been the mayor for about a year, and what were you able to accomplish in that year? What have been some of your achievements? Well, it's actually been a little less than eight, it's been about eight months, and there's been a lot of changes in the town of Larchburg. Uh, one of the things that's probably the most uh, best thing that's happened to our town is we've reduced the staff. So now we're saving approximately $250,000 a year in wages. We now have a financial advisory board for the town to help advise the council on financial matters. We have a park and rec committee. We have a planning commission. We have a water and sewer board. We even have a, a veterans uh, uh, monument committee. So we've got a lot of participation in the community where the folks are really coming together to make our community better. We also had solved the problem with the sewer capacity of, of the issue of the, of the campground. They were going to send their sewer here. We've renegotiated that, so they're going to be doing their own sewage treatment plant, which really helps to take uh, problems away from the community. And I hear you have a brand new well as well. We do have a brand new well, a brand new tank, and we also have a brand new filter system. And the filter system is now giving us the quality water that we've yearned for for a lot of years. So that's really nice. We also have completely remodeled the library, put new paint, new carpet, new shelves. So it's a complete library now, and it's a recommend everybody get down there, take a look at it. It's really nice. We've also have a bear ordinance now in the town of Larkspur. We're the first in the county to do such a thing, and it's to orientate the businesses to get their trash cans modified so that the bears can't get into them. Because when it does, it really hurts the bears more than it helps them because that trash does kill the bears. And uh, it prevents the folks from making contact with the bear. We end up having a bad bear human situation. So that's real good. You bet. Well, I uh, heard you mention a Parks and Recreation Committee. And the town of Larkspur does have one of the nicest parks in all of Douglas County. Tell me a little uh, about the park and some of the features that it has. Well, the park has a, a really nice baseball, professional baseball field with dugouts. We've got uh, three pavilions. We've got three playgrounds. We have basketball, pickleball courts. We have uh, volleyball courts, we have horseshoe pits. Uh, we've got a lot of amenities in the park really make it a nice place for families to come to. Excellent. And can people rent out sections of the park or the whole park? Or they how does that work? Absolutely can. They can rent a pavilion or sometimes we have two pavilions rented for one event. It just depends on what, how, large their, uh, how large their event is. But uh, yes, all of the facilities in the park can be rented out. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. So uh, I noticed all the little hamlets on the, the north end of the park and just south of the town hall here. What's happening with all those little hamlets? Well, we got lucky and we got to rescue six of the cabins from the local campground. They were going to be demolished and we also got two years from them folks. So for the cabins, the first cabin of the park is going to be for the Larkspur Elementary School teachers to raise funds to help fund uh, school activities in the school. The second one's going to be for the town of Larkspur Information Center as well as Larkspur Historical Society to have a place to distribute information about the community. And the other three are going to be retail outlets for local community people to sell their wares out of. That's fantastic. Yep. That's fantastic. And the two yurts that we got from them, we're going to place behind the town hall, which will be a community, a little community center for birthdays or be rent, be able to be rented out as well. And uh, wow, that's fantastic. And stuff in them. Yeah. Now the people that will be able to rent those out, is that the general public, the people, the neighbors around Larkspur, or just the people in the town limits? No, it's for everybody. Rather, you're in Keene Ranch, Bell Mountain, Prairie Park, Prairie Park East, Sageport, all of Larkspur is uh, welcome, more than welcome here. We're all Larkspur. Well, fantastic. Well, tell me about some of the events that, uh, you know, the town has been sponsoring and putting on um, you know, for uh, throughout the year and upcoming year. We're really fortunate for years now, the Chamber of Commerce has worked with the town of Larkspur hand in hand. And 
we have, uh, for example, right now we have the Christmas tree lighting and there's over 60 trees in the park that are lit up by different uh, businesses and families and they're all different so they look really neat. It's a really neat presentation of the park trees. We have the music in the park which happens six, week, six weeks out of the summertime on Friday nights. The, here again, the Chamber of Commerce with the Larkspur, uh, Town of Larkspur uh, pays for professional bands to come on down and entertain the folks. It's a free event. We get hundreds of people to attend them, so it's a really nice event and it goes through the summer. We have the Harvest... like six different events this past year. Six of them, yep. Mm -hmm. that, hopefully we'll have even seven maybe this next year, I heard talk. But uh, we also have the Harvest Fall Festival in the park, and that brings, I think they had 70 vendors in the park this year, so that's really a nice little marketplace for the community to come and do some shopping. We have the Pumpkin Fest now. We are also having a community barbecue once a year in the town park for the local folks to get together and get to know each other better. So uh, we're having a lot of local participation, which really makes our community strong. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, what can you tell some of the people that uh, live in and around the town of Larkspur about the town that they might not already know? Well, uh, the town of Larkspur is just a wonderful little small town. It'll probably always be a small town. and. Uh, we just invite everybody to come on down and enjoy our little community in the park, our restaurants, uh, our trail. You know, we have a wonderful trail that has stretching benches and little workout stations. Right. I've heard something about that trail that it uh, goes all the way from Denver to Colorado Springs. Well, actually, the, the, the original, I mean, the plan is, I believe it's called the Front Range Trail. That's going to run from Wyoming border to the New Mexico border. Wow. We currently have pretty well from the uh, property by the that the county got just uh, south of Castle Rock all the way to Colorado Springs is pretty well complete, minus the little tidy part we have here in Larkspur. We have to get a couple more bridges in, and we're working with the county to get that done, hopefully this next year. Fantastic. And how do people access that park? There are uh, those trails. Yep, there's an access through the park. You can come right behind Town Hall and access, access it that way, or you can go to the south end of the park, and you can access it that way, or you can go to, the, to Plum Creek Avenue, drive to the east, and there's a Frank Creamery Trailhead. You can park there, and you can go all the way to Colorado Springs from that park right there. Well, fantastic. Well, um, tell us something about yourself that the average person might not know. Oh, uh, well, uh, our family is responsible for building this beautiful town hall. We used to have it as the Colorado TP Village. Oh, ah, this log structure right here on the main street of town. Yep, we picked all these local logs from the local area, the scrub oak from the local, local area. We had uh, Bob Arston, one of the local elders who's now passed away, help tremendously with this little tractor. Me and him went and gathered up all the logs. and That's amazing. He helped picking it. And, we did a really good job of it. Wow, that's and really now, amazing. now it's the town hall, so it's really nice. Well, that's fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Marvin. You bet, Dave. Really you good bet. seeing you again, and thank yeah. you so much for everything you do for Larkspur. Well, thanks. And once again, I'm Dave Gardner with Keller Williams Real Estate, and if you would like to be interviewed and have your business included in LarkspurColorado.com, just go below and click on the link or contact me directly at 303-681-1000. Thanks, and have a great day. Thank you, Dave.